hello everyone hope you are doing well so in this video i am going to edit the first uh, application which we created in the previous video so you can check that video in, in that uh, angular playlist if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe and watch the video and like and share this channel so in the let's edit the first application which we created in the previous video so for that you need to id or editor where you can write and edit your code now i am using vs code here vs code is great id great for angular development but it's free which you can download from this website so it's available for mac ubuntu and windows also i am using here windows so i i simply download the windows setup and and then you can start developing angular with that which ever id or edit you install you can simply download and install it both for mac and windows let's install this id in my machine and install and finish here id provide the different themes where you can change the theme whichever you want so i am using the default theme and uh, you will uh, always have to open new folder or and then simply navigate to the folder you created okay in my case here it is the first my first application so i will open that folder select uh, my first application folder and it will load that folder into the vs code ide so project is loaded in the ide and these are the all the folders and files the angular cli created for you this this is entire angular project now as i said this might took intimidating because you have got so many files in there most of these are just doing some configuration work and you don't really need to touch them our interesting file is package.json here you can see all the dependency of your project like uh, angular 14 and these are the third party package your project needs to run correctly all dependency are only required for development for this build workflow i was talking about but we are here to edit our code right so let's jump into the src folder because that where our code is here is you can see the node modules where all this dependency you can see in the uh, packet.json which is installing in the node, node modules so let's go but we are interested in the src folder so let's go into the src folder then we got bunch of other configuration file and here we got this app folder and we see here some files for now let's open the app component.html it is the welcome file which you created in the previous video by the way making sure you keep run localhost is running in make sure you keep the that running but if you done with the development for the day you can fight it with the control c and you will get our out of the project but as long as you are depending you should keep it running because it will automatically watch your files and rebuild your project whenever you change and save something it will load automatically in the browser now since i will need to restart it and i will actually restart it here in my id in here there is a built in terminal but it is the normal system terminal so here i can also run ng serve to bring that back up so but back to app dot h app dot component html file where outputting something here let's start the application so. so meanwhile let's change our application here i am removing all the code from the app dot component dot html okay, and let's simply put here the pre tag hello Now you 
can navigate to localhost 4200 so you can see he hello my first application so now change hello to welcome save the changes the end build is automatically built and it will uh, refresh the browser and you can see the changes over here okay let's save Let, this is the welcome my welcome to my first application okay so you will see it is automatically updated now one strange thing is we see it this app here but we actually only see curly braces and title in the app.component.html file therefore we can already see some of work angular does here angular is of course not a tool to allow us to write a static html we wouldn't need to framework for that it allows us to mix static html code and dynamically things we want to output in that code and actually what we have uh, here in one of this component angular works with the app.component a component always a template that html code possibly has something styling in the css through it empty here you can see css is empty here you can see and importantly it has typescript.ts file if we enter this this is the typescript and this is not now the definition of component this is what will be converted to normal javascript by the build workflow and in this file we can see couple of interesting things like at the red component i will back to that and what in detail is happening here in the next module we also see here title equals to my first app now what what's that if you go back to app.component.html file we also saw title here right between the curly braces this so let's maybe change this to my app and now if we save it it is recompiled and if we go back to we see hi welcome to my app this is so called data binding in action a concept we will explain into upcoming videos in this course this is how we can output dynamic content this could of course be content that calculated dynamically or retrieving from server in our html code now interestingly if we right click on the loaded page and inspect the page source we don't actually see that code over here we just see bunch of script imports at the bottom this is our build code and angular framework code the head tag is here and then the strange is app root part now app root is also something we see in the app dot component dot ts file here in this selector here in this select so it's look like this is basically like our own html tag we are creating and that is indeed what is happening what is happening here the page we are viewing here to which is the source belongs actually it is in the index.html file in the src folder here we also see a root the script imports are missing because they are injected dynamically now we what angular orders uh, in the end always load this then when we have this dynamically injected script imports this scripts imports will dynamically replace a root with our own component and we can have more than one component in angular app let's do some changes let's change title dynamically so back in the app a uh, component i will actually get rid out of the entire code in here i will add an input instead of a normal html input type equals to text input equals to text and below that we will add the paragraph where you want to output let, let's say the let's say the application okay now name is not something we defined it we will do so in the second let's go app.component.ts file and change 
title to name and change title to application and i will save my first application here okay let's remove this p tag from over here home delete you can see over here my first application and if i'm entering over here like weblands so it is not affecting any changes over here okay so for that to change it we have to add over here ng model ng model and model name is application so make sure to get the case correcting this is no dash in between or anything like that so ng model is a square bracket and parenthesis on the input and set is equal to application so to the same application you are outputting here now this is so called directive and what is does it basically tells angular to listen to anything okay you enter here and store in the application property in this application model but you also on the other hand output the value of the application model in this input this is what we are doing here now if we see if we save this so we don't see anything on the page and if we open the browser we we are getting the error over here okay, we see error over here can't bind to ng model since it is non property of input so somehow angular doesn't understand ng model now that's strange because as i said it is built in right Angular is actually split into multiple modules or packages. You could say we need to add them if you want to use certain features for them. And in this tutorial, you will learn about the different packages and which features they contain. To add such a feature, we go to another file that we haven't had look at yet. Okay, so the app dot module dot ts file. This is basically where we. tells angular which pieces belong to our app and then we have to add something to import to import another package from angular so we need to import it at the top of the file first because typescript always needs to know where things are so import form modules modules from the angular dot angular Uh, slash forms this is one package from angular ember and from that package we can import the uh, import the form modules like this import form modules from the at the rate angular slash forms so this is not a angular feature it is the typescript features as i said typescript needs to know where things are but now with that imported imported we can add it to this imports array down which is not related to the imports up there this is the simply feature understand by angular since it is the part of angular module and now it's tell angular that we want to import some from features and this is the directive we are using ng model is a such a form feature so now if we say that in our app will rebuild and it is done we can go back to and see our input and which krishna inside of it web learns if i start typing something there you will see that text below it is automatically updates this is some magic done by ng model but this is now our first application with some changes in case you have any doubts related this topic uh, please comment below and see you in the next session thank you